President Yoweri Adam Seven appointed 28-year-old Busoga King William Gabula Nadiopi IV as ambassador in charge of special duties in the president's office on Friday last week. His role is to represent the president on special assignments. And most of those assignments will be related to countries that have uh, uh, monarchs, like the United Kingdom, like most of the countries in the, in, in, in the, in the Middle, Middle East, and some, some in the Far East. This makes him the first sitting monarch to hold such a position in what has been interpreted as a violation of the Uganda constitution, which bans traditional leaders from engaging in partisan politics. But the government maintains that the president did this in the best interest of the people of Vusoga. He will rub shoulders with people he would never even rub shoulders with. He will have access to in places where he would never have access to places. He will be able to whisper in the ears of head of states, kings and queens around this world, of the problem of the people of Busoga and what he, he thinks and projects he thinks can bring Busoga. Orem says Nadiope replaces Ambassador Gilbert Njunachi, who collapsed and died in a plane in South Africa last year. He was in charge of special duties in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The appointment has left a section of Vasoga led by Asman Basaliwa, the president of the Justice Forum Party, or Jema, threatening to challenge the king's appointment in the courts of law. <laughs> Tuwakanye, echo kulonda chabazinga nga ambassador. Si chabazinga kwa tuku alamu koti na hii government. The chabazinga to accept this appointment I think legally is on very weak ground and I think he should decline it. It will be better fortunate. I think as a lawyer, I think uh, the, the Ugandans are getting drunk of, of use, using uh, the, the court for every single petty thing. For, for heaven's sake, let the chabazinga decide whether to take this. Uh, role or not. And for heaven's sake, the people of Busoga, don't be hoodwinked for those who wish you the worst. I'm an actually from the north, I wish you the best. Take this, if you don't take it, we will take it. Another section of Busoga in favor of the appointment described it as an opportunity for the kingdom. The king was named as envoy alongside 36 others and will have to appear before Parliament's Appointments Committee for... I am sure she will handle it so professionally and as usual, she will outsmart all those uh, who think that she'll, they have, they have tra trapped her this time. According to Article 246, Clause 3E of Uganda's Constitution, a person shall not, while remaining a traditional leader, join or participate in partisan politics. The 2011 Institution of Traditional Cultural Leaders Act also spells out the role of a traditional leader as to promote and preserve the cultural values and practices which enhance the dignity of the people he or she leads and to promote the development and enrichment of all the people in the community where he or she is recognized. And uh, I would actually advocate that uh, Ugandans should embrace this opportunity head on, not, not politicize it, uh, not uh, uh, belittle it, and not to make uh, uh, you know, a big storm of something which just uh, uh, something very basic but very, very, very important. Okel also responded to criticism against the appointment of DP National Party Chairperson Mohamed Kezala as Deputy Ambassador. Those opposed to the appointment say it is employed by the ruling party to weaken the opposition party by luring its vocal leaders with offers. The president uh, is a Ugandan like every other Ugandan. He should be given opportunity. And I don't see a reason why uh, it should be seen in the context of the president trying to uh, uh, break, the, break or split uh, the DP party. It, the politicians, Mao is a very good politician, like all other politicians, they will have, always have something to say. Last year, the president appointed Nachwala Chinji, a DP politician and go forward sympathizer during presidential campaigns as a state minister for youth and children affairs shortly after the polls. Shiran Wuchere, NTV.